all you coin aficionados out there and welcome to the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today we have two coins for you from the Netherlands. We have the 1980 25 cent and the 1987 25 cent coin. The Netherlands switched to the euro coins in the year 2002. First they had a three year period where they transitioned to the euro on using what they call book money. So essentially they, they moved their accounting systems and stuff over to uh, the euro coin type of accounting. And then on January 1st, 2002, they released uh, the first euro coins. Uh, when they released the euro coins, it was a 28-day dual circulation period in which you could still use these particular coins, and that was until January 28th, 2002 and then these coins were demonetized. These are two different issues from the Netherlands and what we're going to do is take a look at them and compare them to each other and then at the very end of this video we will take a look at the reverse of the new euro coins. So on our left here we have the 1980 25 cent coin uh, as you can see, there's the 19 separated by the 25 and 80 crown at the top, as we have in um, all these older uh, Netherlands coins. On the left, we have a cock or a rooster. On the right, uh, we have what Numista describes as a star, but what looks to me like one of those medical symbols uh, with the um, snakes going around it. But I, I honestly don't know, and I, we looked it up, and we weren't really able to find out exactly what that symbol was. Uh, if, if one of you listeners would like to um, make a comment and tell us what the symbol is, that would be great with us. So on the left, we have the 1980 uh, 25-cent coin, and on the right, we have the 1987 25-cent coin. And as you can see, they're quite different. Uh, the 1987 is a much more modern design, and we'll go over some of the design uh, issues and structures as we go along. Um, so let's turn these over and we will see on the obverse or front, so we were just looking at the reverse. On the obverse or front, we'll see we actually not only have uh, a much more modern coin, but we have a new queen. So this coin on the left, uh, which is uh, has Juliana Koningen uh, de Nederlanden, uh, has shows Queen Juliana on it. It was made from 1950 to 1980, so it made it's made for 30 years. This is the last of the uh, Juliana coins. I should uh, in indicate to you that as it was the last, they produced a tremendous amount of them. 159,300,000 of these uh, Juliana coins were made in the last year. On the right, we see uh, the Queen Beatrice coin. So this Queen Beatrice coin was made between 1982 and 2001. So if you add those up, you see that the Juliana coin ended in 1980, and the Queen Beatrice coin did not come out until 1982. So there was a one-year gap, 1981, in which no coins were produced. And that, we believe, is why there were 159 million of these 1980s made. Uh, it's extremely likely, if you have the 25-cent uh, coin from 1980 or before, you have this coin, because they made so many more of them in 1980 than they had ever made before. So again on the front we have Queen Juliana and, and the writing around the outside and on the front or obverse of the newer coins, the 1982 to 2001 coins, and this is actually a 1987 version, we have Queen Beatrice on the front. Okay, the uh, 1980 and before coin, it weighs three grams, it's made out of nickel, it's 19 millimeters in diameter and 1.61 millimeters thick. It's a round coin. It has, uh, as, as you can see, it has a uh, reeded edge. And as does the 1987 coin. The 1987 coin made of the same material. They're both made of nickel. They both weigh three grams. They're both 19 millimeters in thickness, I mean in diameter. But the 1987 coin is a little less thick. It is 1.55 millimeters thick rather than 1.61 millimeters thick. 
Uh, obviously, none of us could probably uh, tell that by looking at it, but there is a slight thickness difference. Okay, that's it for today. Um, I, why don't you look for our next video, which will be uh, on the Netherlands coins anyway, uh, which will be comparing the one Gildan coin from uh, 1982 to the one Gildan coin from the year 1978. Um, oh, and I promised you that I would also show you the reverse of the new uh, Euro coin. So let's take a look at uh, the reverse of the 80. There's the reverse of the 87. And then when we get to the new Euro coins, and what I have here today is a, a, a Euro 5 cent coin, but it's going to be the same reverse on all the Euro coins. And the reverse of the new Euro coins looks like this. Obviously another quite different design. It still has Queen Beatrice on it. This is a 2009 5 cent version. So I'll, I'll show you just the 5 cent part of it. Uh, there's a five euro cents, and every euro nickel will have the same thing on the uh, front or obverse, and on the reverse, every euro nickel will have its own, uh, or euro coin will have its own country's uh, sign. And so what they did on this one, and you've probably seen these euros, is there's Queen Beatrice in the front facing to the left, and just stars all around her, kind of a, a pretty pattern. Um, you'll see if you get this coin that there's tremendous wear areas here because it's slightly raised. But it's a, this is the new reverse. And again, here's two of the older reverses. Okay, have a great day. Look for our one Gildan coin comparison so you can see the, what the, they did to the one Gildan coin when they changed it. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Uh, if you can identify that what Numista calls a star and I call a medical symbol, please leave that in the comments section. And feel free to subscribe to our DC Coin World International Coin Channel.